In this vlog, I'll be showing you how to automate fetching the data if required processing it and trying to display that on your Grafana dashboard. Yes, everything will be covering in this video. So stay tuned till the end of this vlog. I'll be providing you each and every detail and still if you are having any queries, just let me know in the comment section below. I'll be surely trying to help you in getting it resolved. So if you are watching this video for the first time, here is the playlist link which I suggest you to go through. If you are a complete beginner, this will give you a very good knowledge. So the first thing what I would like to require here is the information. So here we do got some website analysis data here and I hope you will be finding your data which you need to display on the Grafana dashboard. So this is the sample data which I have been utilizing for this particular tutorial. And yeah, it's not a single row. We do have multiple rows of data here, but we are trying to automate, right? So on each iteration, we'll try to add some data and try to see whether the automation flow is working properly or not. Okay. So initially we start with this particular one row and we'll proceed with adding multiple rows of data and try to see whether this is triggering in the interval of time and trying to provide us with the latest data on Grafana dashboard. So the first thing what I would like to add over here is scheduled trigger here. And if you are a beginner and you are not sure what is a scheduled trigger quickly, I'll try to show you. So here you need to specify the trigger interval. And for the tutorial sake, I'm trying to provide it for seconds. But in real time, it's again according to your requirement. It might be minutes, hours, days, weeks and so on. So here I'm going to specify for seconds here and I'm going to specify 10 seconds. And you can also add multiple rules over here and don't forget to activate it. So now our schedule trigger is activated and here you can see workflow is already active. And you might see you're not getting any triggering here. So even after 10 seconds, you won't see anything on the screen and you might feel like is it actually triggering? And here you can clearly observe the executions. Now every 10 seconds, the executions are happening here and you can see now the 40 seconds is up and the next trigger will happen at 50 seconds and the next trigger will happen at 16 minutes here. So 16 hours, 16 minutes, the next trigger will happen. Yes. So this shows like it is happening every 10 seconds, the schedule trigger is running. And for now, I just want to remove the seconds trigger till we complete the flow, right? I'm trying to move it to the hours here and once try to execute the step so that it will now trigger every 10 hours. And the next thing what I would like to add is Google Drive sheet here. So Google sheet, I'm going to select and get rows in the sheet. And here in this video, I have clearly explained you how you connect your N810 to the Google account. And there I have clearly explained you how you can connect by enabling the required APIs. And for this particular node, you need to have Google Sheet API. So here Google Sheets API needs to be enabled. So I have already enabled here. And if you are facing any error, just try to enable it and connect your account. So I have already connected my account here. And when you try to connect your account, right? Just try to provide, just try to provide your client ID and client secret. In this video, I have clearly explained you how you get your client ID and client secret and just sign into your account. And the next thing is sheet within the document and try to select this particular option. There you will get the options like what is the operation you want to perform. And here I am trying to get the rows and also you can choose the document here and this is my website analysis document here if you see that is what I have selected and the sheet in which I want is like Android coding. So here you can see this is what the data I require not the updates one. So from here it will try to fetch the information and now let's try to execute the step already you can see the information here. Now we are able to get the scheduled trigger here on the left side and the right side this is the output now. And also we do have only one row and that is what we got only one item now. As we add the data right we get everything in the output now. So two things are very clear we got the scheduled trigger that will run in a particular interval of time and now we got the data from the Google Drive sheet as well. 
and again here you can replace this particular drive sheet with your data source and as i have said already it's a complete automation flow we are going to explain but this particular thing is a manual one because i am just trying to provide the data manually here you can just easily replace this with your data source and the next thing what we would like to add over here is the http request why do we need this particular http request is you have got the data here now you need to push the data to the grafana dashboard and how do we do it let's try to see it we need to push the data so the method will be post here so this is a very critical thing even beginners or the experienced persons should try to concentrate here the first thing is we are trying to run this particular n8 n automation flow using docker here so here on the docker i am trying to run this particular n8 n flow and in this video i have clearly explained you how you can customize docker on your local machine and try running n8 n so i just suggest you to go through this particular video if you are having any queries like how this setup is been done so i hope you have gone through the video and proceeding with the further configuration so now whenever you are trying to provide the local host related urls through the docker right you should not specify directly local host and port number that won't detect your local machine local host while trying to connect from the docker right you need to specify that and how do we specify is so here 3001 is my port number instead of local host i am trying to specify host dot docker dot internal so that it will push the data onto this particular port and that i'll be able to access it through the local host so here you can see i am trying to fetch the information currently i don't have any information and also i am unable to connect to this particular port let's try to execute the step and even you can see the same error now we are getting so we cannot directly push the data onto the port we need to have a mock server at least that needs to receive the data and try to publish it so just directly specifying the port number does not receive the data and make it available for you you need to have at least a mock server for the tutorial purpose i am saying you need to have a mock server at least that will accept the data and try to publish it don't get confused i will clearly try to show you so here is the mock server i am trying to generate here and i'll be providing this particular code even in the description section below and i'll be trying to explain you how this particular mock server is made in another tutorial and so now let's try to run this particular server first and here rest api running at this particular port let's go back to the mozilla here and here i have appended it with forward slash data here and you can see we are getting empty array and now it's time to push the data here so send body and in the json right using json so using json you need to specify the entire json here and now let's try to execute the step and yes we we need to append data also here and execute the step and here you can see data stored successfully yes now the data is successfully posted and let's try to see it here yes here even you can see the data now and you can even compare it here row is 2 here and the page url and also the page title also you can just try to see and that's it we are now able to fetch the information here so you can see we are now able to get the information and let's try to run the scheduled trigger now just for seconds and also let's try to add some more information here so i am going to add this particular rows of information let's try to see now here you can see the information is now updated and that is through the scheduled trigger and now it's time to go through the grafana here so the flow is clear here till now and we are trying to provide the data as well through the grafana in this video i have clearly explained you how to install grafana on your local machine so i suggest you to go through this particular video and i will be providing the link in the description section as well and once you have installed the grafana then try opening it through the local host 
so this is our grafana home page here and let's go to the dashboard and i'll be deleting the existing dashboard and trying to show you how this thing works so quickly try to tap on create a dashboard and okay let's go to the connections first and if you are creating this configuration for the first time let's add the add connection here so here you need to install this particular plugin called infinity and why we are installing this plugin because now we are trying to fetch the information from this particular local host url here and through the add new data source here you need to provide this particular url base url here so i am providing the base url and trying to click on save and test here you can see health check was successful and let's try to explore the data now and also try to add the url over here and now that we got the information here so in the table you got the information when you provided this particular url so the thing is very clear we try to fetch the information here from the google drive sheet here and tried publishing that data to this particular local host port here and from there we are trying to fetch the information through the grafana and the one question you might ask is why we need to push the information on to this particular port and try fetching it again to the grafana why can't we directly send from the na10 to the grafana so the point is grafana will be able to visualize your data but it needs a data source every time so from the data source it will try to pick the data and here the data source is our api here so this is the json api which acts like a data source for the grafana then you can ask from the google sheet itself we can do it right why we require this particular init and flow everything yes that is a, again a very good question but the point is when you try to fetch the information from the google sheet right every time that will be a manual one you need to manually trigger the things and also if there is any processing for example now here we got the clear data we don't require to process anything over here we just straight away use this particular information over there in the grafana but in real time it requires some additional processing or filtering and then it needs to be provided to this particular grafana dashboard and all these things you cannot directly do in the grafana and that's where we trying to make use of the n8 and flow here and also we are doing this through a schedule trigger so that you need not manually come and update the this particular flow every time the point is you need to have the data source which will be automatically updated every time then this particular flow will be running continuously and the data will be displayed on your grafana dashboard through the regular intervals so i hope the main intention is very much clear for you let's try to visually see this particular dashboard now let's try to add the information to the dashboard and open in the new tab so here you can see now we have got this particular dashboard so this is the information complete information here we have got and let's try to add the additional all the information here so i am trying to specify the rest of the information and delete this particular row as well so now let's try to check whether the information will be automatically updated or not so we have almost 20 rows here and here we have got all the 20 rows now and let's try to see the same through the grafana yes we have got the things now updated here and also let's try to save the dashboard now and here let's try to add the visualization and try selecting this particular data source now and let's try to see the stats and refresh yes so here we have got the information now and row number is 21 so we do have like uh, 21 yes 21 rows including the headers it is counting and uh, stats also here heat map you can make it and see again this is according to your requirement i'm just trying to show you the options available over here so this is how you can create a basic simple dashboard here and trying to show you and i hope this is clear for you so 
and even you have an option like refresh here so you can refresh this particular dashboard as well according to the time interval so i hope this is very clear for you and if you are still having any queries just let me know in the comment section below and if you like this video do like share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content